Well, I was going to say this thing's purring like a kitten, but it it's completely silent. You can't hear anything. <laughs> because That's it's electric. Wild. I got to make the sound effects because it's so quiet. Electric camper van road trip starts right now. Ow. Bye. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Eric. And I'm Allison, hello. And we are teaming up with DW Travel and going on an electric camper van road trip through Europe. We have done a lot of road trips in our travels, mostly in the US and almost always with big gas guzzling vehicles. But this time we're doing things a little bit differently. Since we're in an electric camper van, that means no gas required, y'all. But it only gets just over 300 kilometers for a full charge. So that means we're gonna have to be a little bit more strategic with when and how we recharge. Yeah, that's going to be super important because we are planning to go around 2,000 kilometers. We are starting up here in Germany, then we'll be going through Austria, Northern Italy, all the way down to the coast, and then eventually making our way back to here in Munich. Our challenge is to discover as much as humanly possible while also being a little bit more eco-conscious than we would be on our typical road trip. So that's gonna mean no gas, no disposable cups, and really just reducing our waste as much as we can. We may fail at this goal, but we are going to do our best. All right, enough talking. Time to get this road trip officially underway. We are heading about 100 kilometers south to Germany's tallest mountain. Let's do it. As we've stumbled on the cutest little German town that we're driving through. Do you want to take a stab at pronouncing it? <laughs> Garmisch Part Partikirchen? Yeah, Garmisch Partikirchen. <laughs> That's the one. But it's pretty incredible. It is super charming and it's sitting at the base of all these mountains and the clouds are wisping around. If we didn't have a date with the tallest mountain in Germany, <laughs> we would have to stop here. Oh for sure. man. I'm not gonna lie, when we landed in Munich, I wasn't super stoked because I wasn't ready to be back in a big city. But now that we've left and we're in the countryside, I'm realizing how much I missed Europe. These views, these tiny towns, it's just so beautiful and exciting. We have made it to the very first campsite of our road trip. It is actually at the Zugspitz Resort mm -hmm. and it sits just beneath the mountain. That's it, right over there. You can't tell, it's a lot taller than that, but the clouds are covering the very tippy top. Yeah, it is so freaking epic, oh you guys. Oh my gosh, we have such a great view too. Ah! And y'all, it has its very own access to this cable car that runs from the bottom here at the campsite all the way up to the top. Apparently there's a restaurant up there. I think there's hiking, there's all sorts of stuff. We're for sure gonna be doing that, but before we do, I think we gotta charge this baby up. If we can figure it out. Yeah. Let's do it. Of course, our vehicle comes with the typical connector to charge it, but it also comes with a whole heap of adapters. So let's see if we can find the right one. I think this one matches the pedestal over there. So the way it works is you just line up the orange dots and then they should kind of pop right on there. That looks right, right? Yeah, it seems connected. <laughs> this cord here has this juice booster thing I don't really know how we use this, so we're just gonna see what happens. <laughs> just plug it in, yeah. see if it juices us up. <laughs> Follow me. Okay. <laughs> I think this is how it goes. I feel like a Ghostbuster or something. <laughs> you open that up, pop this in. Is that it? Well, this light came on <gasps> and it's flashing green. Cool. So. Let's see if we're charging. Yeah, dude. I think that we're charging. We got a little red light right there. I would have expected it to be green, but that looks like charging, right? Oh yeah, check it out. Charging completed in 10 hours, 20 minutes. Holy cow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we're staying overnight. <laughs> now that we've got this baby charging, let's take a look on the inside. Let's start with the back. When you open it up, you'll notice this system of slides. And this first one here is actually your kitchen. In this first slide, you have all of your dishes and some cleaning supplies. The second compartment holds all of your eating utensils, as well as a bunch of pots and pans that you can cook with. 
And this third compartment is probably the coolest because it actually has a functioning sink. That's so neat. It's actually battery powered. It runs into here. And when you're done with the water, you just dump it out or dispose of it appropriately. Easy. Believe it or not, the next compartment has a portable toilet. So it looks like this. Pop this off. Number ones go down in here. Number two into here. They even give you some toilet paper. I believe every place we're staying on our road trip should have toilets there. But it's nice to know we have this in case of an emergency. Underneath the box with the toilet, you're actually gonna find a bunch of extra storage. And then if you open the slide a little bit further, this is where you're going to find all of the different charging cables and adapters to keep y'all juiced up. That's right, you guys, we got swivel seats up front. This is so neat. And apparently there is like a whole table that comes out. So Check we can cook out. in the back and then eat in the front. Yeah, you have a proper living room How up here. How neat. Super cool. And then when it's time to get back on the road, pop that right down, slide this back into place, and there you go. Awesome and easy. Yo, <laughs> we have a living room in our van. Last but not least, we have to show you how this bed works. So right now the bed's at about half size and it's tucked away in the back. So all you do is pull this leg out so it's out of the way of the chair. Mm -hmm. Also put the chair down. Whoa. Then the whole thing slides up like that to make it about a full size bed. Ta-da! Big enough for both of us to fit on. Yeah. So that's gonna wrap up the tour of the camper van. It is starting to rain and I think it's gonna be raining for the rest of the night. So we are going to set up shop inside. We're gonna chill for the rest of the night and then we'll see you on the top of the mountain tomorrow. We are officially above the clouds. Check that out. We took the cable car up to the top and it'll cost you 50 euros a piece round trip, but it is worth it just for the views alone. It's absolutely incredible up here. If you're lucky and you come up here on the right day, there will be a cloud inversion, which means the clouds are lower than the peak. So you're literally up here above the clouds. Sugspitz is the highest mountain in Germany at 2,962 meters above sea level. It sits in southern Germany at the Austrian border and there are three different lifts that can take you to the top. We took the Tirole Zugspitzbahn. Hopefully I'm saying that right. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a little off, but yeah. that's okay. But you guys, we can recommend during your trip to Germany. Check this out. This is this incredible is or what? Amazing. Yeah. This star here represents the highest point in Germany. Oh my God, the views are incredible. Luckily, we did not have to hike all the way up here, but we did have to do a small hike just to get to this star, and it's pretty scary. <laughs> now we gotta make our way back down. At the top of the mountain, there is this huge complex that is filled with all sorts of amazing things. There's restaurants, cafes, restrooms, of course, and they have this whole level dedicated to the history of the mountain and building everything up here and how it all came to be. They even have examples of the train cars from all the different iterations on the train. I'm assuming this is around the 80s right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's been absolutely amazing just strolling around here and learning about the history of the area. We've sadly spent way too much time up here, but there is so much more to see on the road, so we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> Bye. Okay, see ya. Bye. Coming up at our first toll, it's a little steep. 10 euros. Ooh wee. Lord, what is that, like 12 USD or something? Something, something like that. Hopefully this is the first and only today. Yowza. Yeah. Wow. 
Guten Tag. Bitte bezahlen Sie am Automat mit Münzen und Banknoten. Can you speak German yet? Nicht. <lacht> Für Rechnungsbeleg bitte Quittungsknopf. Uh, Dankeschön. Tschüss. All right, I'm seeing a sign right there that looks like car charging. All right, so this one should work. Hopefully it's the fast one. When we started our drive today, it said we had 316 kilometers till empty, but we have been going through the mountains and so that quickly dropped. We lost about 100 kilometers in there. It'll be our first time doing it at a charging station. I'm very excited because I think it'll go very quickly. This is the one. That's this the is one. he said if you can find one that fits both of these, it's the best and should go the fastest. All right, let's do it. All right. Yeah, charging. All right, nice job. Awesome. Time for a little update on how we're doing on our waste reduction goal. <laughs> Typically when we do a road trip in the US, it's so easy to just stop for fast food or stop at a gas station and we'd have a bag of trash usually on day 1, but I'm happy to say that this is the only trash we've made. Just what's in here, which we got a little bit of cheese and meat, which we completely forgot we bought this. And then we were like, dang, <laughs> why did we do that? Yeah, bad on us. And then we got a bottle of water, but we have been refilling this and we'll keep doing that yes. throughout our trip. So, so, so far, so good. I think that's be better than I thought we were going to yeah, do. Yeah, and I think everything so far is recyclable at yeah. least. Plus, this is a jar of pickles we haven't even gotten through yet. <laughs> But that's gonna do it for part one of our epic road trip with DW Travel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope mm -hmm. you guys were as entertained as we were <laughs> doing this awesome trip. Oh, it's been a blast learning about the electric van and of course, seeing the amazing scenery. I think yeah. it's just gonna get more and more epic as we go. And best of all, not using a single drop of gasoline. Feels great. Next time you guys see us, we are going to be road tripping down through Italy. We have so much more to see and we can't wait to show you. All right, we'll see you in the next one.